What's up guys, my name is Ace, and it's now been about three weeks since our last title update with Black Ops 4, and a lot of people were expecting one today, and at least so far at the time of recording this video, we don't have an update this week. Which means we likely won't see a title update until next Tuesday, because title updates tend to come on Tuesdays. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about how I feel about this, as well as what I would like to see and what I expect to see with the next big update for this game. So even though we didn't get a title update, which is a big update, it's usually several gigabytes and includes a lot of content and some noticeable changes, and finally Half Off Heist is gone out of the featured playlist, and that has been replaced with Endurance Chaos Mosh Pit, we also got something that is quite interesting and something a lot of people have been asking, and this is a Mercenary Hardcore Mosh Pit. So you can now play hardcore modes and not run into parties because only solo players can play that. We've also got a standard deathmatch mosh pit as well as a mercenary capture mosh pit. So unfortunately this means gun game is gone which is a little bit disappointing because I love playing gun game and I feel like that should be a permanent mode that's on the side. I think they should always have a party mode like that. But aside from that it is good to see that there is now a mercenary mode for hardcore players at least temporarily. And it is also nice to see Half Off Heist finally gone since we've been dealing with that for about three weeks now and really wasn't my cup of tea. Now another thing that was teased by Vonderhaar on Twitter that you guys have probably already seen by now is an update that's coming to the looting for the console build of Blackout. Vonderhaar tweeted this image right here which is a work in progress build of the looting system for console so you can see that there will be several rows. He said that they're contemplating between two or three rows but this just shows two rows of five and it will just help you scroll through the loot a lot faster and hopefully a lot smoother as well. Hopefully it doesn't hang up and freeze on you like the current looting system in console. And so far this is looking really good and I'm quite excited to see this implemented into the game. Now since he tweeted this last week, a lot of people were expecting that there would be a proper title update this Tuesday or today, and that this would be one of the additions with that update. Unfortunately that's not the case, but I would expect to see this within the next title update that we get because he did mention that they were already in the QA testing phase. So that's really exciting, but it does raise the question, why do we not have an update this week? Like I said at the beginning, it's been three weeks since our last big title update. There were a couple other updates that were kind of supporting updates afterwards, but that was the last real big title update was on the 18th of December, and it's now the 8th of January, which is a very long time between title updates for a game like Black Ops 4. Why haven't we received any updates? Well, it's actually pretty simple. It's been the holidays, and the developers have been working ridiculous hours throughout the year, especially towards launch and then shortly after launch. The amount of crunch time that developers put in is absolutely insane. So, so much overtime. So, it's been the holidays, and I feel like they've had a well-deserved break for the holidays. Got to spend time with family, hopefully, and everything. And by now, they should definitely be back to work, or at least the majority of them, and they simply don't have an update ready for this week. So I, I can definitely understand that there isn't an update for this week, but I would definitely expect to see one for next week. I'm hoping they have everything ready for that, and I also expect that it's going to be quite a big one, because all of the little things they've been working on, even throughout the holidays, I'm sure there was some work still going on. I am expecting quite a bit with the next update. Now even though I fully understand that it's been the holidays and the developers are people too and they deserve a break every now and then, I really feel like they could have done better in the communication department. At least keep us updated on like what's coming. If you're not going to have an update when people are expecting an update to come, maybe just let us know like, hey, no update this week, but we've got a lot of things in the works. Maybe tease a couple things that they're planning on adding with the next update. Aside from just that image that Vonderhaar teased that had no real indication of when that would be coming, it would be nice to have a bit more of a roadmap of what's going on and when we can expect some of the things to be added. So, so far, that's all of the information we really have, which isn't much because like I said, there's been not a whole lot of proper communication. Now I did want to talk about things that I personally would like to see and would hope to see within the next big title update. Keep in mind everything I'm talking about from this point on is what I would like to see and not things that are confirmed or that I have any information on that will in fact be coming. The first thing I want to see is some weapon tuning. Even though it's been three weeks since the last title update, it's been about a month and a half since our last weapon update, and that last weapon update was a very small one as well. That was where they had some very minor adjustments to the ABR as well as the swordfish. It was a week before that when we had our last proper weapon balancing update, and that's when the SMGs got their buff with the five hit kill ranges. Now the devs did say at the time of that update that they wanted things to settle down for a bit before they made any further weapon changes. I think enough time has passed now and we should be expecting some weapon balancing changes with the next update. As for the specific weapon balancing changes, I honestly don't know what it's going to be, but I did want to talk a little bit about what I would like to see done. 
I think some of the SMGs need a little bit more love. It was nice that they got a slight buff with that last update, but I feel like some of them are still just falling behind in close quarters against assault rifles, which is a little bit on the frustrating side when you play everything right, you're playing to the strengths of your gun, but the assault rifles or LMGs in some cases are just so versatile that it doesn't really matter because you have an SMG in your hands. So a couple things that perhaps I'd like to see is maybe a bit more of an increase to the five hit kill ranges that they brought with some of the guns. Maybe to the MX-9 or the Cordite for instance, I feel like maybe they could use just a little bit more love. I don't think all of the SMGs need buffs, I think the Spitfire as well as the SOG are in a really good place, I don't think there's anything wrong with those SMGs. It's just most of the other ones I feel like could use a little something else to help them out. Perhaps something in the handling department, make it so they have a slightly better aim down sight time for instance, because as it is now, it's not much different from an assault rifle aim down sight time, especially when you look at the SMGs that you can't use quick draw on. It's a little bit annoying that if you go up against an assault rifle that's using quick draw, when you have an SMG that can't use quick draw, that assault rifle is going to have the advantage in so many situations. So I think overall, a few busts to a couple of the SMGs would be nice to see. Also, the ABR-223, I think that definitely needs a little bit of love as well. Obviously, that's a gun that has been changed quite a bit since the beta build of the game. That was the gun to use in the beta. Then they nerfed it pretty hard, and then nobody was using it, so they gave it a slight buff to recoil, which really didn't do much. I still don't see very many ABRs used. It's very rare that I see anybody use that, and therefore, I do feel it is going to receive some form of a buff. I think the best thing for it would possibly be a very slight reduction in its burst delay, which would make it a little bit more versatile and a better time to kill, or perhaps a slight adjustment to its range values, because it doesn't have the greatest range, especially when you compare it to the Swordfish. The Swordfish is just superior in basically every way compared to the ABR. Now with this game, since the time to kill has slowed down in comparison to previous Call of Duty games, I typically don't like to ask for or expect nerfs out of weapons. I would rather they buff other weapons to make them kill a little bit faster or more effectively, rather than taking the most effective ones now and making them kill even slower. However, there is still one gun that I feel is a little bit too versatile, and it's a gun that I basically am not allowed to use because I run a YouTube channel and I get so much backlash if I use it. This is the Titan. In its current state, the Titan is a great SMG, great assault rifle, great LMG, and a pretty good sniper rifle. I feel like it's too versatile in too many situations, and therefore I would like to see a slight adjustment to this just to make it a little bit less effective than it currently is, especially at those closer ranges. One big thing that I don't really like about the Titan is when you use quick draw on it, that gives you an aim down sight time that's pretty much the same as the SMGs in the game. It's one frame slower than the SMGs, which is hardly noticeable. And therefore, when you come face to face with an SMG and you've got a Titan in your hands, you still got a pretty good shot at winning that gunfight, even at really close ranges. So perhaps a slight nerf to quick draw would be in order, or maybe make it so your aim down sight trace speed isn't quite as good, because as it is right now, it's the same as assault rifles, which is pretty decent and will help you quite a bit in those close to mid range situations. In either case, I feel like something small should be done to the Titan to make it just a little bit less effective. I don't necessarily think that they need to nerf it into the ground or anything, they just need to make it a bit less effective and versatile than it currently is. So those are the key weapon balancing changes I'd like to see. Of course, there's definitely room for improvement with weapon balance in a few other areas, but those are the main ones for me. In addition to that, I wouldn't mind seeing some specialist adjustments, perhaps a bit of a nerf to Prophet's Seeker Mine. I feel like that's one of the ones that the most people are currently complaining about and having a hard time with, even when they're using Tac Mask. That's my big complaint with it, is even when you're using the counter to it, which is Tac Mask, you still have to complete that animation where you pull that lead out of your chest, and in that time, you're usually dead anyways, and therefore it feels like that creates a lot of unpreventable deaths. So a change to the Seeker in some way would be great in my opinion. Next up, a big one for a lot of people, and this is something I'm mildly interested in seeing, but I realize is a much bigger deal for a lot of people. This is League Play. They did mention that League Play will be coming early 2019, and really that is such a vague statement. That could even be in February, that doesn't even imply that it's January. But perhaps they really do mean super early in 2019, and we will see it with the next update. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed on that, but I'm also not going to hold my breath because we really haven't heard any other details about that. And I feel like it's something that they will be building up to a little bit and we'll be seeing some teasers and things as time goes on and we get towards that big update. But League Play is something that I am definitely looking forward to trying out and perhaps I'll really get into it again this year. I don't really know. It's been quite some time since I got really into a League Play in Call of Duty, so I'm really looking forward to that and I hope they do it really well. Next up is something that they mentioned a long time ago that would be coming, and we still haven't seen yet. This is proper combat records and leaderboards. 
As it is right now, we've got some pretty weak combat records. Like you can see some of your stats and a little bit of what's going on, but nothing even close to the gold standard, which I feel is Black Ops 1. That one had such a detailed combat record. You could see every stat of every gun for you and where exactly we're hitting enemies and, and where your aim was and all of the stats you could possibly think of. I don't even necessarily expect them to reach that gold standard, but at least have something that's half decent when it comes to giving us our stats for our character and our progress in the game. Same thing goes with leaderboards. As it is right now, the leaderboards are quite weak. It's basically just for comparing yourself to your friends. It doesn't really do a whole lot. I would like to see some better leaderboards added to the game. And finally, the last thing that I would really like to see in the next update is an echelon cap increase in Blackout. Now for me, I'm not level 81 or anything, but I realize for a lot of people they have reached level 81, especially Especially for those people that are only playing Blackout or primarily playing Blackout. And I can only imagine how frustrating it would be to continue to get wins when you're already a max level and therefore all of those merits that you would have earned are just disappearing and they don't contribute to anything. So an increase to the echelon cap is something that they mentioned quite some time ago that they would be adjusting this and perhaps we will be seeing that within the next update. But with that, that's going to wrap it up for today's video on what I would like to see with the next update with Black Ops 4. And I'm really hoping this update does come within the next week, probably next Tuesday. That's when I'm really expecting it, but perhaps it'll come even sooner than that. I'd like to know in the comment section below, what would you like to see with the next update of Black Ops 4? Are there any weapon adjustments you'd like to see or specialist adjustments or any sort of additions to the game in general? Just let me know what you guys are thinking down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.